Hello and welcome to this video on converting between fractions, decimals and percentages. Now the first thing we need to appreciate is how we represent a whole of something. So we could represent a whole of something as a whole to say that we have all of it or we could represent it as 100%. Now we cover percentages in other videos but what that symbol there means is percent and percent means per 100. Cent means 100, a bit like century means 100 years. It just means out of 100, per 100. So if I said that 100% of people like my maths videos, then I'm saying 100 out of 100, i.e. all people like my maths videos. But we could also represent it as a whole. And then we can split that in various ways. So let's say I had a big long number line here. And at one extreme, we've got uh, a proportion of zero people like my videos. And the other extreme, I'm saying a whole of people like my videos, all of people like my videos. Now, we can split this up in various ways. So I could split it into tenths, for example. Now, if we split it up in fractions, if I split a whole into ten pieces, each piece is worth a tenth. So we have a tenth, two tenths, three tenths four tenths, five tenths, six tenths, seven tenths, eight tenths, nine tenths, and then we get ten tenths, which is the same as a whole. So these are fractions. What about as decimals? Well, another way to write a tenth is as 0.1, because do you remember in the video on place value, whatever the digit is after the decimal point, that's a tenth digit. And how many of those tenths we have? One tenth. We can see that's one tenth. If we have 0.2 here, that digit there means the tenth digit, so we have two tenths, two tenths, and then we can have 0.3, 0.4, 0.5, 0.6, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.10, 0.11, 0.12, 0.13, 0.14, 0.15, 0.16, 0.17, 0.18, 0.19, 0.20, 0.21, 0.22
of 50. Well, half of 50 is 25. So in fact, here we would have 0 0.25. And then let's think of multiples of 25. 25, 50, because there's a sort of zero there as the hundredth digit. And then the next 25 added on, we get to 75. So this would be 0 0.75. And then as percentages, this is 100%. That's 0%. And then, well, what's a quarter of 100? It's 25. So it's 25%, 50%, and 75%. So you need to memorize all of these fraction, decimal, and percentage correspondences. So if I was to give you 0 0.6, you should instantly after some practice, be able to say, well, that's three fifths. And over time, you will just learn those like that at the click of a finger. But we can also convert any arbitrary decimal to a fraction. So let's just say, for example, we had 0 0.05. Now, all we need to do is to think about the place value of these digits. Now, this is the hundredths digit, because that's a units digit, that's a tenths digit, that's a hundredths digit. And how many of those are hundredths do we have? Well, we've got five of them. So we have five a hundredths. But we could simplify that fraction. We see what can we divide top and bottom by? Well, they both divide by five. So that divided by five is one. A hundred divided by five is 20. So 0 0.05 would be a 20th. What about, say, 0 0.5? Three, two. Well, this is the hundredths digit. Now, if you look at the lowest value digit, the hundredths digit, you could say you have two hundredths and three tenths. But another way of thinking it, about it is that we have 32 a hundredths. So this is going to be 32 a hundredths. So you look at the rightmost digit, you see that's the hundredths digit, and therefore you know this is 32 hundredths. And then we could simplify that. They both divide by four. So that gives you 8 over 25. So 0.32 is 8 25ths. What about 0.001? Well, that's the tenth digit, that's the hundredth digit, that's the thousandth digit. So this would be 1 over 1,000. Now let's go back to the 0.32 again. And we wanted to convert that to a percentage. Well, we know that's 32 out of 100. But remember that percent means out of 100, so in this is in fact 32%. So in general, if we ever want to convert from a decimal to a percentage, we just need to multiply by 100. So if you multiply by 100, it moves a decimal place, two places, one, two, and we get 32, so it's 32%. So if we had, for example, 0 0.457, if we want to convert that to a percentage, we just multiply by 100, so that means the decimal point twice, 1, 2, we get 45.7%. And let's say we want to go from a percentage to a fraction. Let's say we had 85%. Well, 85% means 85 out of 100, so we could write that as 85 out of 100, and then we just see how we can simplify it. These both divide by 5. Now, 85 divided by 5 is 17. And 100 divided by 5 is 20. So 85% is the same as 17 over 20.